Hello again. It's Friday, August 4th, 2023. This is Journal TV and I'm Jerry Clark. It's time for the news. Allegheny County has been awarded a prestigious Virginia Association of Counties Best Achievement Award for 2023 for its role in creating the Allegheny Highlands Public Schools. The Allegheny Journal spoke with Superintendent of Schools Kim Halderman and Allegheny County Administrator Reed Walders earlier today about the award. There'll be more later on AlleghenyJournal.com. What Allegheny County achieved is historic, a feat that has been accomplished only three times in the Commonwealth since 1982, said Dr. Cheryl Bailey, a visiting professor of practice at Virginia Tech. Well-known Covington businessman J.W. Tingler Jr. was found dead with a gunshot wound to the head near Covington Farm and Fuel on Wednesday. Attempts to revive him were unsuccessful. The Covington Police Department released a statement on Thursday evening about the matter, and that one is now available in full on AlleghenyJournal.com. Mountain Gateway Community College conducted a week-long cyber camp for eight area high school students in July, which included learning how to secure Windows and Linux-based machines. There's much more about this right now on AlleghenyJournal.com. And now a word from our sponsor. The Allegheny Relay for Life event begins at 4 p.m. on Saturday at the Jackson River Sports Complex, and a big crowd is expected to turn out for the event. The Kings will be the featured musical group soon thereafter. A car show also will be available, proceeds from which will benefit the American Cancer Society's efforts. The USDA Forest Service announced Wednesday that it would be providing $19,600 in funding to complete trail maintenance and promote trail tourism in cooperation with the Allegheny Highlands Trail Club. There's more about the subject right now on AlleghenyJournal.com. And we'll be right back. And now for regional obituaries. Tina Haggerty, 65, of Clifton Forge, died Monday. Carl Mullins, 88, of Hot Springs, died Sunday. Carolyn Norrington, 90, formerly of Natural Bridge, died Sunday. Lisa Dean, 66, of Lexington, passed away Saturday. And James Tingler, Jr., 70, of Covington, passed away on Wednesday. More information on all obituaries may be found on AlleghenyJournal.com. And let's check out the local weather forecast. On Saturday, it should be partly cloudy, high of 88 and a low of 67. On Sunday, partly cloudy, high of 85 and a low of 70. And on Monday, it should be partly cloudy with showers and a chance of thunderstorms. High of 85 and a low of 67 degrees. 
And that's the way it is on Friday, August 4th, 2023. More stories, photos, videos, and interviews are available 24-7, 365 on AlleghenyJournal.com, YouTube, and on our soaring Facebook page. Thanks very much for watching Journal TV.